Hello students, today in this video we, we are going to learn chapter 8, Reach for the Top. This chapter has got two parts. Part 1, we have Sandosh Yadav. Part 2, Maria Sharabova. In your textbook, you'll find this chapter in page number 99. This chapter is from Beehive textbook in English for class 9. So part 1, Sandosh Yadav. This is a motivational story about Sandosh Yadav. She is an Indian mountaineer. So in this lesson, you will get to know how this Sandosh Yadav had overcome all the obstacles and became successful in life. So now let us see the uh, chapter. The only woman in the world who has scaled Mount Everest twice was born in a society where the birth of a son was regarded as a blessing and a daughter, though not considered a curse, was not generally welcome. So, this Sandosh Yadav, she was the only woman in the world who has scaled Mount Everest twice. Okay? So this Sandosh Yadav, she was born in a society where the bird of sun was regarded as a blessing and a daughter, it's not a curse, but especially the daughters were not uh, generally welcome, which means the people, they don't want to have a baby girl. They always prefer baby boy. Okay, so they are not happy whenever they, in their family, okay, whenever they get a baby girl. So... The Sandosh Yadav, she was born during that during that time when the society doesn't or society doesn't welcome a baby girl. When her mother was expecting Sandosh, a traveling holy man giving her his blessing, assumed that she wanted a son. But to everyone's surprise, the unborn child's grandmother who was standing close by, told him that they did not want a son. The holy man was also surprised. Nevertheless, he gave the requested blessing, and as destiny would have it, the blessing seemed to work. Okay, now let's see. When Sandush's mother, okay, when her mother was expecting her, that means when she was pregnant, a traveling holy man, holy man means a saint or a priest, okay? Thinking that, thinking that uh, she might be wanting to have a son, she, uh, this holy man gave a blessing, okay? Gave, uh, gave her a blessing of a son, okay? But the holy man was very surprised because... The unborn child's grandmother, that is Sandu's grandmother, who was standing close by, she told to him that they don't want a son, but they want a baby girl. So the holy man was very surprised because, as I had told you earlier, the society, okay, and that during the those days or during those times, the people, they don't generally welcome a baby girl. They always prefer or they always want a a baby boy so being in that society the priest or the holy man thought that Sandosh mother also might be expecting a baby boy and that is why he gave a blessing of a baby boy okay a blessing of a son but the grandmother told to him that they wanted a they don't want a son but they want a daughter so the holy man was very surprised but as they as she requested he gave the blessing and the blessing worked which means the sandosh yadov was born sandosh was born the sixth child in a family with five sons a sister to five brothers she was born in the small village of joniya was of rewari district in haryana Sandosh was born. There were six of them, five brothers, and she was the last. Okay, so she was born the sixth child in a family with five sons, a sister to five brothers. Sandosh Yadav was born in the in a small village of 
Jonia, okay, Jonia was of Rewari district in Haryana. The girl was given the name Sandosh, which means condemnment. But Sandosh was not always content with her place in a traditional way of life. She began living life on her own terms from the start, where other girls were traditional Indian traces. Sandosh preferred shorts. Looking back, she says, Now, from the very beginning, I was quite deter determined that if I choose a correct and a rational bat, the others around me had to change, not me. So Sandosh, when a baby girl was born, she was given the name Sandosh. Sandosh, which means contentment. Contentment means satisfaction. But Sandosh, she was opposite to her name. She was not contented. She was not satisfied with, with her life, with the life that she... Uh, lives okay so she was living in a place okay where uh, the people they follow a traditional way of life so she was not contented she was not happy so she began living life on her own terms from the beginning itself she was quite different from the other girls the other girls in the village they were traditional indian traces but sandosh she preferred shorts wearing half half pants Okay, so she was quite different. Her thinking, her way, okay, her way of living, everything uh, seems to be quite different from the other children in the village. So looking back, she says now. So at present, she says from the very beginning, she was quite determined. And she felt that if she choose a correct and rational bat, which means she knew, okay, what is good and what is bad. And so she chose the right butt okay and when she is walking in the right butt according to her okay when she is riding in the right butt it is not she who has to change but others they have to uh, change so this is what uh, she felt so from here we can understand that sandosh yadav was a very was a girl with full of determination Sandosh parents were affluent landowners who could afford to send their children to the best schools, even to the country's capital, New Delhi, which was quite close by. But in line with the prevailing custom in the family, Sandosh had to make do with the local village school. So she decided to fight the system in her own quiet way when the right moment arrived and the right moment came when she turned 16. At 16, most of the girls in her village used to get married. Sandosh was also under pressure from her parents to do the same. In line with means following or in accordance with or according to. Sandosh's parents, they were affluent landowners. Affluent means wealthy. Okay, They were very rich landowners and they could afford to send their children to the best schools, even to the country's capital, that is New Delhi, okay, which was just close by, nearby to their, uh, from their village. But they were, Sandosh, okay, their family, they were following a custom in the family, okay, they had a custom, and they had been following this from long before, which means they had to study in the local village school only so sandosh also could not go anywhere for okay uh, for her studies but she also had to follow the custom and she studied in the local village uh, school so what she did was that she decided to fight the system she doesn't like that system how can a person okay uh, be you know uh, even if they wanted to study uh, in other places okay how can they stay back there and keep on studying in a village in a a village school following the custom so she didn't she didn't agree with that and she decided to fight the system in her quite own in her own quiet way okay and at last the right moment arrived and the right moment was that when she turned 16 years of age like at 16 most of the girls in her village they used to get married and so when she reached when she was 16 
even her parents also pressurize pressurize her to get married okay because all other girls okay who reaches uh, 16 years they were usually okay they usually get married okay they get married uh, get married and settle down so they also the parents also pressurize her to get married and to uh, settle down now let us see the next a marriage as early as that was the last thing on her mind she threatened her parents that she would never marry if she did not get a proper education she left home and got herself enrolled in a school in delhi when her parents refused to pay for her education she politely informed that them of her plans to earn money by working part-time to pay her school fees her parents then agreed to pay for her education so here the last thing means the last or the least important thing so for Sandosh, marriage was not important okay of course it was important but it was the least important it comes it was the least important thing that was not uh, the first priority okay so when her parents uh, pressurized her she wasn't willing to marry but she wanted to learn okay she wanted to go for higher studies she want to acquire more knowledge got it so a, ma a marriage as early as that was the least thing on her mind so she threatened her parents that she would never marry if she did not get a proper education so she left home and got herself admission in a school in delhi because her parents were telling her to get married okay so she left home and she um, joined or enrolled in a school in and Delhi and when her parents refused to pay for her education she politely informed them of about her plans about her plans that is to earn money she told them if you don't send me money if you don't give me money I'm going to earn by myself I'm not going to get married I'll work by myself and with my money I'm going to I'm going to invest it on my education on my studies okay this is what she had replied to her her parents by saying that she will earn money by working part-time to pay her a school fees so what happened lastly her parents also they agreed okay they agreed to pay for her education wishing always to study a bit more and with her father slowly getting used to her urge for more education sandosh passed the high school examinations and went to a jaipur she joined maharani college and got a room in kasturba hostel so she always wanted to study and her father also slowly uh, her father also understood about her urge for more education urge means about her desire okay she has got a desire uh, to learn okay to learn more and her father also slowly okay he also get to know about that okay so from here we can see how the sandosh okay she loves education and she wanted to study she wanted to acquire more knowledge so sandosh she passed the high school examination and she went to jaipur she joined to mahar she joined to maharani college and she got a room in kasturba hostel now let us see this sandosh remembers kasturba hostel okay remembers kasturba hostel faced the aravali hills i used to watch villagers from my room going up the hill and suddenly vanishing after a while one day i decided to check it out myself i found nobody except a few mountaineers i asked if i could join them to my pleasant surprise they answered in the affirmative and motivated me to take to to take to a climbing so Ara aravali hills it is a mountain range in india okay it is in um, this rajasthan okay so here she uh, joined at maharani college again she stayed in a uh, kasturba hostel and there in the kasturba hostel okay this hostel faced the aravali hills from his from her window okay from her room she can see the aravali hills very uh, clearly so what she used to do she used to watch villagers okay from her room the people the villagers going up the hill 
okay and suddenly vanishing after a while why why they are vanishing because they could not be seen because they had climbed okay higher and higher that hara valley hills and slowly okay they vanishes so she always keep on watching those villagers okay from her room so one day she decided to check it out by herself and so she went there but she found nobody except a few mountaineers so she found a mountaineers and she asked them if she could join them and she to her pleasant surprise they that is the mountaineers they answered in the affirmative affirmative means what affirmative means they said yes okay they responded in a positive way they responded yes and also these mountaineers they motivated her and also um, told her uh, to take to a uh, climbing then there was no looking back for this determined young girl she saved money and enrolled in a course at Odarkashi's Nehru Institute of Mountaineering my college semester in Jaipur was to end in April, but it ended on the 19th of May, and I was supposed to be in Udarkashi on the 21st. So I did not go back. Did not go back home. Instead, I headed straight for the training. I had to write a letter of apology to my father, without whose permission I had got myself enrolled in Udarkashi. Headed straight for means went towards. Okay. So there, she was very much motivated. The, um, she was very much impressed by those mountaineers. And at last, she also decided that she would become a mountaineer. So there was no looking, looking back. Okay, She was determined. She decided that, yes, she will become a mountaineer. So she saved money and she joined. Okay, She enrolled herself in a course at Odarkashi's Nehru Institute of Mountaineering. So her college semester in Jaipur, where she was studying, was supposed to end in April, but it ended, um, it ended on the nineteenth of May. Okay, so and she was supposed to be in Otakasi on twenty first. Got it? So uh, she did not go back home because there, uh, it was only few days left. Okay, to join that institution okay to join that uh, Odarkashi's Nehru Institute of Mountaineering so she did not go back home but instead she headed straight for the uh, training so what she did was that she wrote a letter of apology to her father saying sorry okay saying sorry to her father because without taking permission from him uh, she had got herself enrolled at Odarkashi Nehru Institute of Mountaineering Thereafter, Sandosh went on an expedition every year. Her climbing skills matured rapidly. Also, she developed a remarkable resistance to cold and the altitude. Then after that, Sandosh, he went on an expedition every year and her climbing skills developed, uh, matured means developed rapidly. And slowly and slowly, she developed a remarkable resistance to cold. Gold means it, uh, and the altitude. Altitude means height from height from the sea level okay so when she climbs higher and higher okay she was no more scared of the height okay she kept on climbing and climbing higher okay higher uh, that uh, hill okay in the mountain on the mountain okay so and she also did not uh, feel okay the extreme coldness Resist, uh, see remarkable resistance to of gold so she was ready okay physically mentally uh, she was ready to face all these obstacles in order to uh, in order to achieve or in order to success in order to success in order to bring success successful life she was physically and mentally ready for everything to face everything got it so she developed a remarkable resistance to cold though it was very cold okay slowly and slowly she didn't feel the coldness also and she wasn't scared of the height the altitude okay so equipped with an iron iron wheel physical endurance and an amazing mental toughness she proved herself repeatedly so i had already told you so these are the qualities okay uh, she had an iron wheel her willpower was very strong physical endurance okay and also she had a she has a, she had an amazing mental toughness mentally physically she was well prepared 
and she proved herself repeatedly. The culmination of her hard work and sincerity came in 1992, just four years after she had shyly um, asked the Aravalli mountaineers if she could join them. At barely 20 years of age, Sandu Yadav scaled Mount Everest, becoming the youngest woman in the world to achieve the feat. So the culmination means the end, E-N-T, okay, or the result, the result of her hard work and the sincerity came in 1992 because this is the year, 1992, uh, in the year 1992, Sandosh Yadav, she scaled Mount Everest and she became the uh, youngest woman in the world to achieve the uh, feat. She climbed the Mount Everest, okay, in the year 1992. 92 so this was the result of her hard work so just four years after okay after after that the mountaineers from the ara valley they motivated her okay and she joined that institute and just after four years after putting a force of four years in the year 1992 she achieved that is this sandosh yadav she scaled mount everest becoming the youngest woman in the world to achieve the feat. If her climbing skills, physical fitness, and mental strength impress her seniors, her concern for others and desire to work together with them found her a special place in the hearts of fellow climbers. So here it talks about Sandosh Yadav's qualities, the good qualities that she has. Okay, so... Uh, she has a very um, climbing she has a very okay she has a very good climbing skills uh, even her physical fitness mental strength all this her skills her fitness her mental strength all this embrace her seniors and especially her concern for others and desire to work together all these qualities okay attracted his uh, attracted her fellow climbers. They were very happy to uh, work together with this uh, Sandosh Yadav. They enjoyed the company of uh, Sandosh Yadav. And through her good qualities, she could also impress her uh, seniors. During the 1992 Everest mission, Sandosh Yadav provided special care to a climber who lay dying at the South Goal. She was unfortunately unsuccessful in saving him. However, she managed to save another climber, Mohan Singh, who would have met with the same fate had she not shared her oxygen with him. So, Sandosh Yadav. She has a concern, okay? She has lots of concern for others and this is the evidence. In the year 1992, uh, during the Everest mission, the Sanjo, uh, Sandosh Yadav, she provided the special care to a climber, okay? She, uh, a climber who was lying, okay? Who was lying at the South Goal. So she did her best, but unfortunately, it was unsuccessful. She could not save his life. However, um, in the other incident, she managed to save another climber, that is Mohan Singh, a climber called Mohan Singh. Uh, she saved him by uh, sharing her oxygen, okay, the oxygen that belongs to her, okay, she shared her oxygen to Mohan Singh and she could able to save his life, that is another climber, his name is Mohan Singh. Within 12 months, Sandosh found herself a member of an into Nepalese women's expedition that invited her to join them. She then scaled the Everest a second time, thus setting a record as the only woman to have scaled the Everest twice and securing, securing for herself and India a unique place in the annals of mountaineering. In recognition of her achievements, the Indian government bestowed upon her one of the nation's top honors, the Padma Shri. So within 12 months, Sando, she found herself a member of, she became a member of the into, uh, into Nepalese women's expedition, okay, because they invited her, okay, so she got an opportunity. And then she scaled the Mount Everest for the second time setting a record as the only woman to have scaled the Everest twice. So she was the only woman who have gone, who have scaled the Everest twice, two times, okay? And securing for herself as well as she got fame, name, okay? For herself, for her family, and also 
for the country also even the country also okay it was a great uh, pride for the uh, country so india a unique place in the annals of mountaineering especially in the in the annals of mountaineering she got fame and name and also the country was also proud to have santosh yadav in recognition okay of her achievements in order to recognize uh, her for her achievements the indian government they bestowed upon her one of the nation's top honors top honors means the highest awards that is badmashri so she was awarded the highest award that is badmashri to sandosh yadav for her achievements Describing her feelings when she was literally on top of the world, Sandosh has said, It took some time for the enormity of the moment to sink in. Then I unfurled the Indian tricolor and held it aloft on the roof of the world. The feeling is indescribable. The Indian flag was flying on top of the world. It was truly a spiritual moment. I felt proud as an Indian. Sink in means be understood or held it aloft means held it up high okay so this uh, she described about her feelings okay on that day when she had reached when she had um when she had uh, climbed to that uh, mount everest and when she was on the top of the mountain how she felt what was her feeling okay she said that it took some time for the enormity of the moment to sink uh, to sink in sink in means to understand un uh, to be understood okay so it took some time for her okay to enormity enormity of the moment which means about her success she couldn't believe herself that for the second time okay she had scaled the mount everest so when she was standing on the top okay on the top of the mountain that is on the top of the world world she could not believe okay she couldn't believe herself that she had okay she had um, scaled to the Mount Everest twice and there standing on the top of the world she unfurled the Indian tricolor which means the Indian flag and she held it aloft held it aloft means she held it up high in the air okay she was waving the uh, flag up uh, in the air and at that moment okay the feeling that she had was indescribable she could not describe how happy how uh, contented okay how satisfied how happy she was she could not describe okay describe the feeling at that very moment the indian flag was flying on top of the world really it was truly she said that it was truly a spiritual moment okay and she felt proud as an indian she was very proud uh, to be an indian so also a favorant environmentalist sandosh collected and brought down 500 kilograms of garbage from the himalayas so last line okay this last line we get to know about sandosh yadav that sandosh yadav not only physically mentally okay she was strong she was determined and not only uh, she has a concern for his fellow beings okay fellow uh, climbers uh, not apart from all those good qualities here we can also see that sandosh yadav was an uh, was an environmentalist she was a favorite favorite means having strong and sincere feelings okay she was an environmentalist and so up there on the top of the mount everest what she did she collected and she brought down 500 kilograms of garbage from the himalayas okay so on that when she climbed at him out that mountain okay the himalayas okay so she had brought down 500 kilograms of garbage from the himalayas so this is um, a very suitable example okay which uh, proves that the sandosh yadav was truly a uh, an environmentalist okay so this is the explanation of this uh, chapter part one okay reach for the top part one uh, sandosh yadav so i hope you have understood the lesson uh, listen very well so uh, the next part we will do it in the uh, next video so thank you for watching this video